here. So pretty much when AlphaFold came out, which is a protein structured prediction model, pretty state of the art. It made a lot of headlines about two years ago. I got pretty interested in the proteins in that space and did a little bit of exploration. Uh, currently, I'm doing some research in that space, and uh, diffusion models are kind of hot right now, especially for uh, gener generation tasks, right? I played around with a model around two months ago, and it was pretty easy to use. Uh, Zip AP, if you don't know, from some lab out of St. Cloud, I think. And it was fun, pretty fun to use. And I could pretty much run one script and design an antibody for any targeted antigen in one click. And for people that don't have the bio context, uh, ant antigens are pretty much stuff outside of your body that your immune system targets by <coughs> basically evolving antibodies against them. And there are some, there have been some computational efforts to do it. Not that great, but recently there has been a big renaissance in these models ever since AlphaFold came out. And so I thought, hey, let's build a front-end wrapper for this and try and get it going. So inside Synthetical, which is just my name for it, you can upload an antigen file. And you're going to have to go to the And kind of your render it. It's kind of designed for antibody engineers <coughs> at, at pharma companies that usually have a lot of great domain knowledge and want to analyze these proteins extremely in depth, which I don't have the biology skill to do. But it has a nice render for you to do it. And ideally, you would click this design antibody button, and you would have the antibody antigen complex on the right side. So I have the model running, but I haven't actually connected it to you. So for the sake of the demo, I just have a sample output of this particular antigen with the antibody complex to it. Um, I believe it's this, but in this case, you can see that it's designed to this purple domain is the antigen, and the other two parts are the antibody. And so this is just a fun project, trying to like make my research uh, have a little more applicability to it. And yeah, if you have any questions about the science or about where the technology could go, I'm pretty excited about uh, using this in further contexts because antibody design is just the start. There's a lot of like little bottlenecks in the drug discovery pipeline. Like humanization and stuff that a lot of these general models are getting good at doing. So, yeah. Yeah. Is there any regard for the difficulty of synthesis for the antibody in this model, or is it just does it just create the structure and then you're just gonna have to figure out how to make that yourself in the lab? Yeah. Um, so for this particular model that I'm using right now, it actually has zero experimental validation, which is terrible, by the way. Yeah. Like no one's gonna trust it. But I mean that's kind of the point of my my lab. Because my lab also has an experimental arm, and so the stuff that I develop, I'll, I'm going to plug into this model later on. And once it has that experimental val validation, it has been published. Like people would actually trust it. But yeah, this is just kind of a fun way to try and build something for the model once it's there. Yeah. Last question, by the way. Okay, uh, I'm in the Pusu Kwong lab. He's in the bioengineering uh, department. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank, Thank you very much, everyone.